All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of the Soldier series of Mass Effect. Before we get down to the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all videos that are posted. With that being said, let's get to it. Okay. Here we go. All right, so we just got done at Liara's dig site. We have her on the Normandy now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to Joker. Hit the point of defense system. Isn't there anything over here? Nope, there isn't. Okay. There's the heat load monitor. Another heat load monitor. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic Syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. <laughs> Pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, see ya. Alright. There we go. Now we'll head downstairs, and we'll see about equipping Liara. We'll check our, um, locker, too. Now that I'm thinking about it, we'll check the locker, too. Caden's got nothing to say. Ooh, I didn't know you could e examine the sleeper pod. Oh, nothing in there. Okay. Hey, free experience, man. Examine all that stuff. Examine all of it, man. It's free experience. So once I get Liara set up and we talk to everyone, I'll have to go back to the Citadel so I can turn in a bunch of quests, pick up a couple, and then we'll get back going to exploring the galaxy. 
Okay, so now that we finally got Liara, we can start equipping her. She is a human, and she doesn't have any... Uh, well, she uses human armor, but she doesn't have any um, weapon skills. So... Thunder... All right. There we go. Give you a cryo round. Why am I giving Liara everything? So she can use whatever weapon she wants. Okay. Give you incinerary rounds. And a rail extension. Everything's all out of here. It is. Ryko. The stiletto's better than the Ryko. Okay. We'll sell all this junk. Guy. Stabler, okay. The Omni tool that Polaris will want to give to Liara. That way we can use all her biotic abilities and not have to worry about her. So we'll give you Duelist. Explorer does a little better. And that's it, okay. Give you an exoskeleton. And then we'll go ahead and... No, we're going to give you the um, kinetic bu buffer. That's what we're going to do. Give you the kinetic buffer. Those medical interfaces we want to save for now. All right. Everything else here for ammo can be... There we go. Okay. 
Now we can talk to you and sell all that junk. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. But first we're gonna buy the stuff I need. Like, we'll get the sniper rifle, the pistol... Nothing. Okay. Sell all junk. Okay. Yoink. Yoink. Alright, cool. And we leveled up. That's right, I forgot. We leveled up. Okay. So, what was it I was going to work on you? Just so we can open up sniper rifles and get three points into sniper rifles. Okay. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Aaron. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape, or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. I want to crack at it first. Sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Yeah, it is, actually. It tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. 
It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. When he swung, she just... she wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? Yep. I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. So long, Rex. Shepard. Mm, right. There we go. That's better. That's better. Get you over just a little bit. There we go. Okay. smiling again so to speak so to speak <laughs> i'm sleeping much better now i guess i'm getting used to how quiet your ship is but i don't want this to get in the way of our mission shepherd first we stop Saren, then i'll worry about my own problems i should go see you later okay so talent you didn't really want to talk either now we go back up the elevator and go back upstairs well not upstairs but to the Med Bay, because that's where Liara is.
So we'll talk to Liara, but we won't hit on her. I don't know why, but for some reason, by default, um, Liara is the love interest. By default. And I don't know why. I don't know why they set it up that way. But they did. Dr. Chakwas doesn't really have anything to say either, so... Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. So we'll just keep it professional with um, Liara. That way then we don't have to fight the love interest. So anyway, now we're going to go to the Citadel. And do some things. Turn in quests and do some things. Okay. Back to the Citadel we go. We're gonna go around checking the shops too. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I grab Liara. And we'll do Tally. That's our balance team. Tally and Liara. You actually want a balance team? Log, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay. We'll set up Liara. There we go. We want to get all her biotics to advance. We'll get her first aid to advance and our electronics to advance. Nice. That works perfectly. Look at that. Look at that. Um... We might do electronics for Liara, so then we can give her more shields. We'll max that out for her, I think. Oh, and Miss Tally needs... ...some points... ...distributed. So we have first aid there, we'll do her basic armor. Just so we can get her damage protection, we'll get that up to advance. Or not, yeah, to advanced. And then we'll max out hacking. 
So then we can get the recharge rate down. Oh, I forgot. The Rear Admiral's here. I totally forgot about this. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection. Boondoggle. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. <laughs> and we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. All right, so we got that fully done. We got the full experience, too, out of that. With all this exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. <laughs> yes, most of the technology I had hoped to bring back to the flotilla has subsequently attempted to kill us. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's pretty funny. Command, Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? 
The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? <sighs> we just mic dropped her. <laughs> okay, we're going to check out the store here. See what we can buy. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay. So, Miss Tally Zora needs pistols and shotguns. You can take that scorpion, Liara. That stinger ain't shit. Okay. Now. Actually, let's exit real quick. Let me check the map. Okay. Well, go to the med clinic first, and then we'll run to the, um, oh, I know, I know what quest we get. Okay. Took me a second to figure out what quest I was looking for. I know exactly what I'm looking for. Now, you have to talk to Dr. Michelle here. I should have done it earlier, but I totally forgot to. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay, we'll take that medical exoskeleton. Okay. We're gonna need that, I know that. There we go. And then Miss Liara needs her upgrade. Ali Zora needs her shotgun and needs her pistol. There we go. You the nebula. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to check out the markets here and I want to see what all they have for sale. 
you never know what you might find. This isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Cross fire. Um, nope. Nope. Cipher tool. You really could use it, Liara. Okay. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Okay. We sure Conrad has a wife? Maybe he's gonna hang it up on his ceiling and jack off to it. I don't know. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. That warlord, I bet you, would be nice. Doesn't give any. It's only a common. Take that Geth armory and that grenade upgrade. Yeah, this is the quest we were looking for for Finch. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Have we met? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. My history is a matter of public record. I've got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Okay. Just to get the quest, that's why I said I did it that way. But we're not going to free him. He's a criminal and we're not going to free him. Can I help you? A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard on his cell. Cool. You rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. Yeah, it is. The specter is right. 
This is humanity's chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. We need the other races, Finch. That's the best way to strengthen humanity. Right? Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. Maybe. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Spectre you turn out to be. We leveled up. Nice. So. Now we only get a point. That sucks. That's okay. We only need three points for sniper rifles anyway. Okay, so what did I want to do? I want to do electronics for you. And you, I want to get your basic armor to advance. Okay. So now we'll go to the um, Citadel Tower. Because we got a, que a couple of quests to turn in there. Okay, here's Emily Wong again. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Okay, and then we'll turn on, turn in this quest to uh, Kahoku. No, I'm... Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Okay. Well, now we gotta turn in another quest to Gareth. He's up here. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Okay, so now... We're going to head to the financial district. I, 
I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, it's Michael. My... It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives! For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? It's my child! It's my decision! Wouldn't your husband have wanted to give the baby a better chance than he had? But what if it ends up killing a child who would never have developed the condition? What then? Then you'll know you did all you could to keep your baby safe. That's all you can do. Don't you understand? I can't lose this baby. This... This is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you. Either of you. Not after this. Then why didn't you just say that instead of yelling at me? I was scared. I'm sorry. If it means that much to you, if you trust that it's the right thing, I'll do the therapy. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. No sipping. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to talk to Dallin to see what he has. He might have some stuff. We have to see. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. <laughs> oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Oh. We'll get the two licenses. Commander, it is good to see you again. This is what I hate in this game is the shopping today. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Ooh, Colossus armor. Fuck, we're selling shit, man. There, I can barely afford it, but give me that shit, man. Hell yeah. Now I don't have to worry about um, Tally for her Colossus on her. What a rare find, man. Hell yeah. What a rare find. She's the first to get her Colossus armor. Look at that. Nice. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? See, the Colossus armor is the best armor in the game. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. So when you run into it, you either take it or you buy it. And you do whatever you can to get it, you know?
Too bad I don't have any more money, though, but that's okay. That's okay. Um... I guess we're ready to do Emily Wong's quest. So all we do is just come up the stairs, go all the way to the top and plant the bug and then we go back and talk to her again to complete the quest. There we go. Planted the bug. Now we need to go all the way back and talk to Emily Wong again. We'll just take the shortcut and use the Citadel Rapid Transit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Okay. I do want to... Well... Maybe not. Um... I think we're ready to get out of here. Start exploring again, because we really don't have anything to... I mean, we could check Moreland's famous shop, I guess. How many credits we got? Not enough, not even close. Okay. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Okay. Hey, we got this one set up. Nice. I didn't think I had this one set up, but apparently I do. There's a mod where if you don't have the mod, you have to stand there and let it decontaminate you, but because I have the mod, I can just skip the decontamination. My guess it was to help with loading. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. There's also another mod where you can make it where you're, where Shepard's gay. Message coming in. Passing it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. I don't blame you for walking out on her. Sir, she was going to make me look bad no matter what I said. You're probably right. I guess it could have gone a lot worse. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Okay. So now... We're going to look around. And 
Mac and Bay, Hades Gamma, Artemis Tau. Okay, we're ready to go on to the next story mission, it looks like. Huh, okay. Fine with me. Fine with me. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Okay, I meant to go to the um, embassies to talk to um, Masana, but I totally forgot to. That's okay, we'll do it after this mission. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Right? <laughs> All right. So <coughs> we don't need to do anything else. We can just go ahead and head out. Now that we have our balanced party. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Stand down. Their house, their rules. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Right. Stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. What is it about the Japanese people that always put, like, San or something behind their name? I, I know it's a cultural thing, but, um... I'd just like to know. Weapons detectors, don't mind the bombs. I am Gianna Parasini, 
Assistant to Administrator Analeas, we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to lead this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Okay. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. So we gotta go down some steps just to get to an elevator to go up. The galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Okay, so we're not gonna, we get to do a quest here, but we're not going to do it because it'll give us Renegade. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, the inspector. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. The offer shall remain open. It truly needs the help. Tell me about the job again. This one has procured a special item for a customer. Okay, I've never done it this way, so... Station. But you could bring it through customs. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Okay. Titan armor. Ooh, it's not bad. We actually kind of need it. Um... Nope. Take those two. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Okay, that Predator would be nice to get. It's a limited, but it'd be really nice to get. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Nothing, really. Okay. You don't really get anything for doing it. You get like 750 credits. Well, hell, you're going to make more doing the mission than you would from um, dealing with a pool.
How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Okay. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Business has come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Oh, shit. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Yeah. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanjan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. Okay. So now we're gonna go talk to... We're gonna go to the bar. We got a couple of quests we can do. I do like the lighting they have here on Novaria with the rings and the square LED boards and stuff. I think I think that's so cool, you know. human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari Biotics. 
powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Okay, that's right. You end up getting renegade for doing it. That's right. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeus' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Okay. Now we go to Synthetic Insights. Oh, excuse me. I haven't had my nap today, so... I've been up all day, so, which is good, because I don't need to be sleeping during the day. I need to be up all day and get a good night's sleep, you know? It's only 9.30, though, at night, recording this now, so. But anyway, the Synthetic Insights office is right here towards the garage. It's the first door up these stairs. Right here. Well, elevator, I should say. Hanshan Security, this office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The Administrator's orders. Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Oh, mm Kai. There we go, we're gonna load up on items. Oh, 
There we go. These cryo rounds are so much better than the proton rounds. They really are. There we go. And that should be all of them. We open the door for a technician kit. Ooh, a combat sensor. We'll take that. Okay. So all you're doing is just looking for that evidence. It's just right up here. It's easy to find, you know. Okay. And there's the evidence we were looking for. Now, we get us a little surprise over here. Sterling. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're going to show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're here off-duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you. Thought there was something over here. Ooh, Predator Delight, but that's okay. There we go. Okay. I didn't check what's down here, did I? Oh, they forgot to put the door in this, <laughs> didn't they? That's funny. See, it sounded like a door opened, but it, there's no door. They forgot to put the door in. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so now we get to go talk to Lord King. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smartass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Hey, I'd rather be a smartass than dumbass any day. Drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. That's the way it is. You'd rather be a smart ass than a dumb ass any day. <laughs> you know, I'm so surprised somebody didn't say that to Gordon Ramsay when he would call him a smart ass. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't drink caffeine, so, um. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? 
The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Okay. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Okay. Cool. So now we gotta go all the way back to Analeas' office to talk to Parsini. It's so stupid, you gotta go all the way back and forth. But at least this time you don't have to go... ...upstairs, you know, so... Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Okay, so we leveled up because of this, so we'll get your sniper rifles, get your electronics, and get your basic armor to advance. Okay. And then we'll do hacking will be the next move. For tally that way we can reduce her recharge of her uh, tech abilities trust me you want that down as low as you can her recharge rate that way then you can use her stuff more often This guy really doesn't have anything to say. He just talks about, he's just like the town crier. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. 
Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Okay. Now that we're in the garage... There it is. What are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. What did you do here, Commander? Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Okay. So now we're ready to head out of here with the Mako. Tell me, what do you, what all you think is what do you think is better, the Mako here in Mass Effect or the Warthog in Halo? I haven't played Halo in a long time. That'd be fun to play. Get the Master Chief Collection. That would be so much fun to play. I've only beat the first one. I've never beat the second one or the third one. I have beaten Halo Reach, though. That'd be fun to play the Halo multiplayer if it's a, still a thing. Okay, that's not anything. There's hidden items out here. They just must be by the burning tanks and stuff. Okay. Yeah, like this right here. We want that money. There we go. Isn't there one over here? There it is. It's right here. Yoink. There, we'll just destroy all the shields. Ah. There we go. Yes, I know I'm on um, casual, but I'm not taking much damage to the shields, and it's probably because of the electronics being so high. Oh, there's one more. Yep. 
Huh, we didn't even have to destroy the shield to get to it either. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Why is it they make their tunnels out of like glass? I, I, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's just kind of weird. Oh, it's just a... Med pack, yeah, that's what it is. It's just a med pack. There we go. Destroy that. I always kill all enemies just so I can get the experience, possibly credits, you know. Hell, I learned that from Parasite Eve 2. You kill all the enemies so you can get the um, bounty points and the experience. Which really, the experience is just for unlocking your um, parasite energy attacks. Or abilities, I should say. That game's fun, it's just I wish it didn't have tank controls. You know? The tank controls are just terrible in that game. So hard to control Aya, it really is. But you can, when you play it and then put Resident Evil in, you actually can tell that a lot of the enemies have the same um, mechanics as the Resident Evil enemies. They track your hitbox, they, um, you could manipulate them by, like, um, like in the very beginning, the first mid-boss fight that you get to do, you can actually trap the boss in between, a, like, in front of a table, so it can't get to you to attack. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think we're pulling up. Yep, we're rolling up to the... Okay, and this is where we drop the Mako. Okay, get your guns out, because you're going to need your guns. Because I have the Spectre weapons, I don't need... You went the wrong way. Damn, Krogan. There we go. Oh, that one charged on me. Bastard. User alert. All P-15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Okay. So pretty much what Tally says, we gotta get that back online. Which we will. Okay, excuse me one second. Let me turn my fan on. 
get some airflow in here. There we go. I just got a little power fan in here that helps with airflow, so... What cryo rounds do we have? Um... Okay. I didn't know if that was an upgrade or not. It's not. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Okay. So we do want to check in here. There's an item in here. More cryo rounds. <laughs> There we go. Oop, we got Geth. We got Geth. There we go. What was that? Animals? Wind? This place is in bad shape. Gee, you think? Maybe someone in the labs knows. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. And then we get a little nasty surprise in here trying to leave. There we go. Yeah, I'm telling you, the cryo rounds are overpowered in this game. Fuck the proton rounds. Not bad. A backup critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Okay, so this manual boot, it's actually easy to do. You could use a hundred omni gel to do it, but it's actually really easy to do. And I'll explain how this works. I didn't know how this worked back then, so back when this game first came out, so what you want to do is you want to get these blue things over to either Y or B. It doesn't matter which one, but it has to be in either Y or B. So the first one can go to either one. The second one can go to Y. Then we need the first one to go to Y. And now we get the third one from X to go to B. B. There we go. So you have to get every, the bottom one, all of it has to be empty. And then you want to get the third one over to B. 
then you get the second one to be, then you get the first one to be. There you go. Reactivation complete. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Okay, so I know where everything is. Main reactor shut down. If you don't know where everything is, you can ask Mira and she'll tell you everything. Restart required. But this is just easy. You just um heading to the roof. You just examine something and it'll just fix whatever it is automatically. So trams are offline. Get your gun out. Crikey. There we go. And we leveled up because of that. Nice. So what were we working on now? Combat armor? Electronics is mastered for you, but we want to max that for you. And we're going to max out hacking for you. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedure. And here's the landline. And there's a Mira terminal, but um, you don't need to talk to Mira. It doesn't matter which one you do first. It just matters that you do both of them. I just do this one first because it's the closest, you know. Okay, we'll need our gun. Because there's enemies that are going to ambush us. There we go. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment. Okay, and so we go in this one. Start required. See, they lock the tram, so you can't get into it. So don't worry about going the wrong way because it's really, you can't go the wrong way. <laughs> That's what I liked about this game. You, you really, it was really hard to get lost in this game. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay. So now we have some geth to deal with. Is there one over here? Looks like it. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance. There we go. And he's up. That's where he is. Get your overload going. There we go.
sabotage you, keep you from attacking. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And you. Alright. And then we come up here to get the hidden one. And there's items up here too for going out of your way. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance Unless they're gonna kill him first. Manual I know I could have used the fusion containment cell, but oh well, you know. Sometimes I just haven't I have fun mowing down enemies, you know. Okay. Then we get some items over here. Okay. Beans we found Tally's um Colossus armor. You know, this is why you always check the shops, you always check your items too. Cause you never know. You might you might end up getting it. You might end up finding one, you know. Okay. We fix the fuel lines. All right, and we have just completed repairs to peak fifteen. There we go. So now we can go on the tram. Well, we'll probably have an enemy to kill, enemy or two to kill. But then after that, we can get on the tram and get on out of here. No? No enemies. I thought there was an enemy ambush here. Guess not. Kind of disappointing because I wanted the experience. <laughs> now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. <laughs> Okay, so we want to come in here, and you'll see why in a minute. It looks like the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Control group losing the... They're in... Can't escape. The tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the fast truck. Come out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving, that killing himself would be easier. Okay, so if we do this electronic here... Ah. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get this one though. Nope. Sometimes, like I said, it's easier just to... Give up and try again, you know? There we go, see? You get the experience for burning those bastards alive. Oh, there's one here. That snuck out. There, we got him without them hitting me either. Look at that. Cool. Nope. Oh, there we go. I got caught up there in the corner. Mm 
Okay, so we're getting to ride the tram now. Maybe it'll take us to um, Iron Forge. <laughs> Little World of Warcraft reference there. Departing Central Station. Destination Rift Station. No. <laughs> Arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Okay. So, you gotta come down this way. They pretty much lead you where you want, where they need you to go. So, so you come in here. We go into that left door a little later. I don't know why there's so many elevators here. My guess, like I said, um, with the decontamination on the Normandy, is to help with loading. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. You're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Get out of the way, Tally! Get out of the way, Liara! Dead! Okay. So. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Okay. So we want to go downstairs first. We don't want to go to the hot labs first. We want to go downstairs first. There's nothing over here, so don't even know why it exists, but whatever. Um... I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Okay. Nope. Nope. Nothing. What? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. 
Okay, so the biggest reason you're here is so you can talk to, talk to Dr. Cohen. Ooh, that might be an upgrade for Liara. It's not quite. There we go. What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Forest B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, so now we get to go back to upstairs to talk to uh, uh, Captain Ventrillis. This is why you wanted to come down here first, and you'll see why later. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Okay. So now we go all the way back down and all this running back and forth shit. Any way to pad the game time, you know? You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. 
He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Okay, there's a lock crate in here. There we got it. A prodigy biotic amp. I keep hitting the trigger by accident. The players is so much better though. There we go. Yeah, I didn't know all this stuff was down here. Okay. Now we can... We've isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the result. This is kind of easy to do. There we go. You want to ends here, Shepard. I thought she seemed odd. What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise, and here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! There we go. We leveled up because of this. So what were we working on? Combat armor for you. Electronics for you. Hacking for you. Okay, so now we get to go back upstairs after... They came out of there. Who came out of what? The synthetics that attacked you. Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're going to be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Okay. So we open up the locker. And now we gotta go back up the elevator. Come all the way back here and back down just to talk to Dr. Cohen again. think so. It was hard to concentrate while dodging gunfire. You were attacked? I 
You guy, I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Thanks for the warning. Here's the cure. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Okay, so you could have gotten the garage pass, or you could have gotten the maintenance area pass, but the guards are on edge, so we're gonna fire our way through is what we're gonna do. Oh, let's see here. You're supposed to get his maintenance pass, but I'm not going to. Because there's no enemies to fight in the maintenance area, and I really want experience. So now we gotta go all the way back this way just to get to the hot labs. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait. Is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then. At Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get the error Grab the code. Okay. Then we come back here and talk to Mira. Connecting. 
I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Okay, get your gun back out. We're gonna kill all these Rachni. You have plenty of time to do it, so don't worry about it. There we go. There. Like I said, I'm I'm all for the experience, so I guess I'm an experience whore. <laughs> Well, there he is. About this, Shepard. We've got orders from Benezia. Open fire! Really, Ventrilis? There we got him. Shit. There. Okay, and this is the way we go. There's a level. Kinetic stabilizer, we could use that. Boink. Combat armor is now maxed. That's good. One more level and you'll have yours maxed. One more level and you'll have yours maxed. Nice. Boom. There we go. Boom! There we go. See, once you get Tally maxed out with her overload and her other tech ability, her tech, tech, her tech abilities, grenades are useless. You know. Ooh, optics. And high explosive upgrade, too. Boom, there we go. Looks like, yes, there's one over that way, too. 
We'll deal with it in a minute. That was the maintenance area we were supposed to go through. But fuck that. We wanted all the experience from the guards. So now we come in here. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stripped of her. Forget and they change the um button for grenades. It used to be select in the original, but now it's um X. Yeah, I'm way overpowered for this. It's because I have the Spectre weapons. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago. The Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. 
the Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. I love how her eyes bug out. Oh, she got me with stasis. There we go. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Other, other, other. Good night, little wing. That was weird. They always said there would be a... <sighs> the game glitched a little. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. So now we see what's up over here. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for, but she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look. Those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. 
You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Okay, so we freed the Rachni Queen. So now we go all the way back to the tram to get out of here. Damn it, I keep hitting the trigger by accident. Luckily, there's a shortcut to get to the tram. And luckily, you don't have to um, go all the way back through Novaria, just get back to the Normandy. They just teleport you. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Okay. So we're all done there, so I'm going to call it for this video. So hope y'all had fun this episode. I did. And I'll see y'all in the next episode.